Welcome back to the test center, my friends, for another rain test and review. This time with a two-person, three-season dome tent, the USMC Combat 2 tent from Diamond Brand. So as you can see, the transport bag comes in a woodland camouflage pattern. It also features these two loops, giving you the ability to attach it to your pack. On the bottom of the bag is a patch with various information on. And upon opening this bag, and lifting this flap, you'll find instructions on how to assemble the tent. The main contents inside the bag consists of the following. You have the inner tent, the reversible rain fly, stakes and repair kit, poles. So while it's still dry, let's get the Combat 2 tent assembled and we'll take a look at the remaining specs and features. So first let's talk about the Rainfly developed from 70D ripstop nylon. It is reversible. Currently we're rocking with the woodland camo. On the reverse side you'd be working with the desert camo. The USMC Combat 2 tent consists of two doors and upon opening the rain fly you're met with the vestibules, our storage area, large enough to store your pack and any number of items you need to keep out of the elements. Upon entering the inner tent, the two doors consist of mesh but also some blackout blinds. So if you're not ready to wake up yet, Close the blinds and it will help in reducing the light entering the tent. Other internal features, two pockets, one here, one the opposite side. As for first impressions, I am a fan. Being a military surplus tent, you would expect it to be rugged and to be able to stand up to the elements without any issues. It's stated to be a free season tent with the ability to withstand steady winds of up to 45 miles per hour and gusts of 55 miles per hour. With that being said, there's not going to be much wind, but rains are coming. And of course, as with any surplus item, you can expect wear and tear. I'm fortunate to have acquired this tent with very little damage. The only visible damage is a missing eyelet. I'm also fortunate that it arrived with a full repair kit so that if any issues do arise, we may be able to fix that. So let's see what it's all about.
And of course, you know we had to go with the USMC filled tarp. It only makes sense. Another reversible item. So if for whatever reason the Combat 2 tent fails, we'll reconfigure the tarp and be sleeping under here. As for right now, let's finish getting set up. So you'll notice I haven't guided out, I have however attached a velcro on the reverse side of this to the poles. So should there be any wind, it shouldn't be much of an issue. So if you're lucky enough to get this tent with a repair kit, this is what you will get. Some cordage, more cordage, a spare buckle, four squares of different material. You have the mesh, you have the inner tent, the floor of the inner tent, and the reversible rain fly and a tube of seam sealer it's always a bit of a gamble when it comes to military surplus of course the items are graded but you still don't really know the condition of that item until you receive it uh, certainly not like buying a new tent and even then I've had new tents that have leaked so so I, I enjoy these rain tests they're, they're good fun when, when it when it goes right Sticking with the American theme, got some mac and cheese here, got some water boiling up there, got some chorizo cooking. I'm hungry. So we had a bit of a downpour earlier, nothing major. Only lasted for about an hour. Um, check the tent, we're all dry. So the real rain's coming tonight around midnight and uh, it's gonna last all the way through to about five, six o'clock in the morning. So uh, that's when the fun begins.
So we had some rain sooner than expected. Got a little break in it, so I decided now was the time to hop in the tent. Got everything undercover in the vestibule area. Got my hot chocolate with me. Let's ride out this rainstorm and uh, see what the result is. Twenty-five past one. I've woken up. Something's flapping about. I think it's the rain fly. Not a tent, it's a tarp. So we survived the night, but what about the USMC Combat 2 tent? Not a single drop of water entered the tent. Tent floor, walls, roof, dry. And on the topic of moisture, no condensation either. We were protected from any splashes that got under the rainfly from the 70D nylon bathtub floor and protected from the sides and above courtesy of the rainfly. If you can get this tent in a good grade, grade one, maybe two, so you can repair it, it's definitely worth it. But then again, it's that gamble of military surplus where you don't really know what you're going to receive. But sometimes you have to take that risk, especially if the price is right. But what about the negatives? Well, for most people, it'd be the weight. Personally, myself, it's not an issue for me. I'm used to traversing through the woodlands with a Dutch army canvas tent in tow. So weight is not an issue for me. It's far from lightweight, but what it lacks in that department definitely makes up for in ruggedness. So it's worth its weight in gold. Overall, that wraps up our rain test and review. The USMC Combat 2 tent definitely recommended.